Assalamu alaikum. I hope that all of my viewers are doing great. So here we come with new release of 3ds Max, which is 3ds Max 2024. And this uh, this version of 3ds Max has came up with some pretty solid and prominent features, uh, which are quite good compared to the other competitors of this software and also the other previous versions of it. Uh, so the first function that we are going to talk about, which is an, which is quite a very strong improvement in this variant, is Boolean. Uh, so the Boolean, first of all, the first quality is that it has came up as a modifier. So now we can apply Boolean as a modifier. With Boolean as a modifier, it means that it can now work undestructively. Um, uh, however, in the previous version, we could see that whenever boolean was applied, we cannot just go back uh, in the list. And whenever it is applied, we either need to redo or we need to reload the saved file, previous saved file. But in this version, it has came up as a boolean, so we can work undestructively with it. We can just turn it off, we can move back in the traverse mode, we can reduce or increase subdivisions and so on. And the next point is that this time the boolean is faster and it's cleaner. For example, let's say we we subtract this torus and when you see the mesh, it is quite good. There are no extra uh, vertices and edges that are coming, and also there are no mesh. There is no mesh that is now missing. In the previous versions, we could see whenever we uh, apply operations which are complex, uh, the software either crashes or it's not fast or sometimes the mesh is missing. So <laughs> this is quite cleaner compared to the other versions. Other than that, it has also came up with some new tools as with some new functions as you can see that we have insert here and we have some other functions as well also the fourth point is that it is very easy to perform multiple operations moreover see uh, whenever we apply some operation let's say that we need to apply a union operation here and then a subtraction option here then we can just do that and moreover moreover along with that let's say you you select this torus and then you move it so that is also something that you can do and you can do live while seeing how it actually intersects several parts of the sphere below uh, also very important and beautiful point is that you can move all these operands up and down depending upon the function. Moreover, uh, you, you should know that all these operands work from top to bottom. So first there is this sphere and then the torus is cutted through that, then the second torus is subtracted, then this render is added and then this render as well. Uh, but let's say that you have applied them in a different manner, right? So uh, uh, either you turn it off or turn it on, it doesn't matter because this operation has been applied before so what you can do you can if, if you see something that is that is not happening the way you want then it might be due to the order of the operands so you can just move it up in the order and then it will work fine <laughs> and similarly with every other thing also also there is one very important feature that has come up with booleans and th uh, that is that you can change the operations while while you have applied the operands. It wasn't there with other variants, and it's very helpful. For example, if you want uh, if you want this, let's say you want this torus to not be subtracted but added, then you can just convert it to union. And similarly, you can also do the same for the second version, just like that. So it's quite easy now. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, whether you have mistakenly set some other function 
but you can just change it instantly here in the operands list. So we can just set it again to the subtract because that is what we want that here. Okay. So then there is another function which is very beneficial and it's so awesome. Uh, and that is VBO subdivision. Here you have method, uh, sorry, VDB subdivision. So here you can select open VDB. So what it does, it actually uh, applies the Boolean operations and and try to produce a mesh there uh, from where uh, from where that operation that Boolean operation is applied. And it depends, and the density of it depends upon the voxel size. And then you can control the density with voxel size. Right now it is one. If you want the results to be more precise and accurate then you can reduce the voxel size let's say we can make 0 0.5 so as as you see as you reduce the voxel size uh, the details become more clearer and and you can see more of the details right so similarly it depends upon what kind of result you want from this and and after doing that you can also uh, use a retopology modifier so that you get quad uh, polygons here and you can work uh, and you can work on that if you want some other details placed manually so this is also a very good function here and so the final function that uh, I would like to discuss today about boolean is that it can perform boolean operations on planes you have a plane I have already created this uh, and you want to cut this uh, you want to cut this object from the centers in in a way that uh, it looks like a rock which is being broken in two pieces from the middle uh, so what you can do you can uh, use the split command and use this plane to split this mesh and then what you can do you can simply you can simply put a edit poly modifier and you can select this part move both those parts away and you can position them in a way that they look like they are being pierced from the center so i hope that you like this video i think this boolean is far more powerful than it was within the previous versions and also some of the other 3d softwares that are around there and it and it will really surpass the other softwares and will and will really help if uh, for the 3d artists to uh, to make better uh, to make better 3d models in a more efficient way and in less time so i hope that you liked this video i will be here again with another video and goodbye up till then thank you very much